Hey guys, how are you? All right, Corey Draper here. This video, I hope this really does help you get some attention, some leads, people just looking at your Live Good capture page, or if you're not in Live Good, this is a really good way for people just to click something and go where you want them. It's that simple. They might not jump off a cliff, but they'll at least click something and go there. <laughs> so, okay. You guys heard of the old Facebooker? I think we all have. Let's just go ahead and visit my Facebook page. Okay. You see this guy? No doubt he's got the most badass mullet skullet I have ever seen. That is amazing. It's all crew. I mean, what is that called? The crew cut? It's kind of like Jim Carrey in Me, Myself, and Irene. <laughs> I love that movie. And the back, forget about it. I know all about it. Business in the front, party in the back. Look what's over my shoulder, folks. Now, I might not have that badass haircut on top, but, man, I respect that long fried hair in the back because I'm sporting that do right now as I sit here talking in my pink mama hat. <laughs> and to prove it, you see that? I did not. I grew this. I can't believe it's like stuck on the back of my head after I glued it on last year. All right, nonetheless, I thought this was great. It's just fun. It's the 80s. I mean, mullets were everywhere, and I just thought it was awesome. So I just put sweet choice of camera and pants because that is a cool camera, but those are some sweet pants, and all of us guys that are in my age group in the 80s, we all sported those types of pants. Now, why do I think it's kind of fun to put pleasewatchvideo.com, which is, watch this, you click it, and gee, look at where it goes. It goes right to the capture page of LiveGood. That's where you want your name and your email address to be put in so someone can click the orange rectangle there, reserve my position now, and they can just check out the company. Nothing to buy, just more information, all taken care of by the company. Okay, now let's just get back to Facebook. Okay. How many people might look at this? Well, if you switch over to a business account, which is easy, that's another video, but it, see underneath where it says See Insights? If you click that, you can kind of get a guesstimate of how many people might think this is kind of fun. Uh, I've had 84 people com comment with it, and I've had about 650, 600 uh, some odd people either look at it or, or the post reached them. Okay, now what does that mean? See, post impression. Okay, just click it. And my face is in the way. Let me move myself over to the right of the screen. Impressions, the number of time your post was on screen. Okay. Well, 600 times. I only looked at this post once. Well, it's number two now. I posted it, and I just went and looked at it right now. But somehow out there for free, 600 people looked at that post, the screen. Okay. And then post reach, the number of people who saw any of your posts at least once. Reach is different from impression, which may include multiple views of your post. Okay, but look at how close it is. It looks like maybe 10 or 20 people might have come back to show somebody, or maybe they had a good laugh about the skull or something, but isn't that amazing? About 600 people are looking at the most badass mullet ever, and there is a link to my capture page. It's not offensive. It's not crazy. If someone wants to click it, great. And if they want to look at Live Good, awesome. And if they don't, they just click it off and they're on with their life trying to best or better that guy one up and see if there's a better skullet or mullet out there. Okay. This is just on one. I've got a whole bunch of Facebook uh, pages for businesses and other things. I even got a Live Good, uh, Feel Good page. But I just want to show you what I do. This girl has the longest legs ever in Australia. I posted of her, of course. And then this was fun. You know, yesterday, uh, a handful of us live gooders. We were kind of sharing this. And let me just scroll down so you can read it. It, it really is a reality check for 2023. And I thought this would be a fun post because I really didn't even think of this in 2023. Uh, as I sit producing this, pay less shoes, clothes, blockbuster, Closed, Kmart, Sears, Radio Shack, kind of. There's a couple out there. Toys R Us are trying to make a comeback in the little tiny section of Macy's and Circuit City. All these big old chains are gone. And it really is true. The biggest transportation provider is Uber now, not Yellow Cab. The biggest movie theaters in the world, they're not Cineplex or Skinamax. It's Netflix. Largest hotels are not the Hilton. 
It's Airbnb. And of course, when it comes to department stores, you know, Sears, JCPenney, those are all gone. Walmart's hanging in there. Target, I don't know how, but somehow Amazon has just came and kicked everyone's ass. All right. And what I did is I just put some pictures of Blockbuster and Sears, Kmart closing, Circuit City, Payless. I remember all these stores and I I guess I'm stuck in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s, but I'm so used to all these being open. It really does bring a tear, a fake tear, but nonetheless, a tear in my eye when I see these pictures. So I talk about this and at the bottom, look what I put. Please watch video. Okay, people might watch it and it goes to my capture page at LiveGood where they might get some good information about making a real kick-ass decision in their life. But check this out. How many people do you think uh, look at this? Just on my Facebook page. Well, look at that, 1,864 impressions, 1,864 people. That is dead on. Isn't that amazing? I've got 329 people either clicking it, liking it, hating it, commenting on it, but 1,800 impressions. How the hell am I going to try, even if I was in good shape and 30 years younger with track shoes on, I could not, like, stand all day in front of Walmart and go into a shopping mall and maybe run down the street and try to give a flyer out to everybody uh, why they're getting their mail. But 1,800 individual eyeballs or clicks or screens, somehow they looked at that, and they probably read the information because, you know, the pictures are kind of fun. But I think when people actually read That information about how, I mean, it is kind of sad, but it's just the way life is. It really is an online Amazon world. There is some nice brick-and-mortar stores hanging in there, but everybody is putting a lot of brick-and-mortar stores out of business. But at the bottom of that, it just says, pleasewatchvideo.com. I own that domain. I simply, just nonchalant, I don't talk about live good. I don't say, oh, isn't it sad that Payless is gone? But here is something that you might want to mull over. I don't want to do that. People are sad enough that Payless is gone. And now you got to go to Walmart for like $10 shoes. But it was pretty cool to go into Payless and find something that didn't look like they'd probably fall apart in a month. But Payless is kind of cool. But blabbing to everybody and trying to secretly, you know, move on in and go, hey, well, look at my business. You know, bait and switch. Well, Blockbusters is gone. Well, if you come to my business, you'll have extra money so you can go and uh, buy CDs and VHS uh, tapes on eBay and Sears. So what I recommend is if you're going to post anyway, I mean, look at my car. This is one of my race cars here. Look, at this is two days ago. We have 874 inches of snow in back of my studio. It's 70 degrees in two days. This is only yesterday that I posted this. Look at how much. I live at the bottom of a mountain. This is by my studio. Look at that. that it's like a foot and a half of snow. <laughs> my poor, I collect little Mini Coopers. I love these little things, the six-speed supercharged ones. But, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put something underneath. You know, I think we had the last snow job in Salt Lake until November. Looks like the sun made a deal with Mama Nature. Got to admit, this much snow in Utah mountains are wild. But then on the bottom, please watch video. If you click it, it goes to my Live Good Capture page. There's no harm. There's no foul. It's not bait and switch. If they want to look at that page, okay, great. And then all my friends uh, that like to visit my posts, after a while they're going to memorize that please watch video is, is just this page here that you see on my screen now. And they just know not to click it anymore. And if they do accidentally click it, good. Because, you know, sometimes people need five to ten visits to a capture page or any page before they make a decision to maybe get their credit card out and trust that whatever they're purchasing is worth it. The juice is worth the squeeze or is the squeeze worth the juice? You know, because a lot of times we're impulse shopping. But, boy, if you see like a sour apple candle and you smell that at Walmart on aisle nine, And if you can afford the, I think it's like nine bucks for this candle and it lasts all month, but you smell it first and you're like, oh my God, this is so worth eight or nine bucks. It's kind of nice when something's in your hand and you can verify it and go, you know what? I'm going to pay nine for nine bucks for this. I'm on a little bit of a budget, but nine bucks to smell kick ass for a month. It's worth it. Okay. But when you get involved with something online, you have no idea what the hell you're getting into. It's all faith or trust, okay? 
I love Live Good because it's been around long enough that it's a proven hit with the products. They're all wholesale. It's a Costco design. You pay 10 bucks a month or 100 for the year to get into that store and buy like Costco. But Live Good, I love it because I was into the products way before I got into the affiliate thing. And I know the company kicks ass regardless of the affiliate. So is the juice worth the squeeze or is that squeeze worth the juice or, you know, are you kind of confused? So I really enjoy this live good thing because I do love the products. They stand by themselves. And when it comes down to the affiliate side, I think it's definitely worth it. That's why what I do is I just kind of like make some videos and I say, click that button. Let Ben, our CEO, take over for six minutes. Just look at what's out there with the live good thing. And if it's for you, then let's go to the next level. Keep your credit card in your pocket. Like I said, I don't want a dime from you unless you really believe in this. Because I'm not looking, okay, I can make 20 bucks. Okay, great. And you flake out or just you don't believe in what my video might convey to you. I don't want that. I want you to come aboard if you really believe in in what I'm feeling and, and a whole hell of a lot of other people are. Because then you'll follow through and I think you'll get really excited about watching some nice little videos and education and get a couple fives and twenties and hundreds and, and even more money than that in your pocket in a really legit way. Okay. Disclaimer, yank, yank, yank. I can't make claims that you're going to guaranteed make money, but I can sure as shit guarantee you this is a real legit way of a good chance. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it kind of, it kind of works. And if you're going to post anyway on, uh, look at that, this is live. Can you believe it? It snowed two feet. There's 80 feet of snow and back on Mount Olympus and Brighton and Alta Ski Resort. And this is Monday the 10th, which is only in a couple days. And look at that. It's 70 degrees. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to go crazy. And here's some examples of just fun posts. I collect these fun co-pop dolls. There's Pam Anderson. There's Duff of Guns N' Roses. Uh, there's Steve of the latest Wonder Woman. He's the boyfriend that Wonder Woman's in love with. Uh, I just post lots of fun things. Here's Motley Crue dolls. There's uh, the drummer of the police with Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Austin Powers. And I just go ahead and put, I, uh, that's a lot of plastic. So when people look at these pictures, you know, they're fun. I mean, I love Johnny Cash. And I love Austin Powers. I wish he'd make 10 of those movies. Every one of them I thought was awesome. But post with a purpose. I guess that's kind of my favorite phrase when it comes down to things. You know, I'm, I'm going to post these dolls anyway and put that's a lot of plastic. But why not put your link right underneath it? And, and with Facebook, you don't have to do HTTPS, HTTP, colon, forward, slash, XYZ, LMNOP. What is beautiful, and I appreciate this with that little Mark Zuckerberg guy, is that you can just put www. It's just less time. Plus, it's clean. If you kind of look at my phrase there, I always capitalize the P, capitalize the W, capitalize the V. And if it looks good to your eye, you know, do it. I think it looks better than all lowercase because if it's uppercase or lowercase, it's going to go right to your capture page if that's where you want people to go. And you don't need all that HTTP uh, P mess. So anyway, uh, that's just a couple things that I do uh, just to get free traffic, free eyeballs looking at something, which is the capture page of LiveGood. So it seems to work. I can tell the volumes through source codes that I use in certain things. But, and I don't want to bore you to tears with uh, certain things you can do, but you can put like a little a little marker on the end of your link where you place your stuff and you can kind of tell if it's coming from Facebook or Instagram or some type of campaign you're doing on TikTok or whatever. But uh, Facebook, it ain't going anywhere. Instagram ain't going anywhere. TikTok, who knows? If you live in America, you love it or hate it, but it ain't going anywhere soon since there's 2 billion people, I think, an hour on that damn thing. Uh, so anyway, this one just focuses on Facebook. If you're going to post, post with a purpose, put a little domain link, and no harm, no foul. No one's going to call you up and try to sue you and beat you up because you put a link to your capture page of Live Good. And if anything, if someone joins from it, they're going to call, uh, get a hold of you on Facebook and go, hey, dude, you know, that was that was pretty funny with the guy with the mullet. But I got to tell you, my wife, she loves the live good. The products kick ass. And I think we're going to go ahead and see if we can make a couple uh, hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks extra each month. So uh, a lot of good can come from it, too. You want to share the opportunity. OK, 
That's what it comes down to. All right, that's enough. We'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go get me a drink because I'm parched. All right, take care.